So we're going to detach. Oh, I built galleys, didn't I? Whoops. I don't want galleys. I want cogs. How many light ships do we have? Yeah, we'll build one more light ship. Why not? So Finn is now a core. Keep on expanding those colonial borders. Oh, hey, we can get another colonist. So I think we want our... Our far border in terms of... Uh, this side of the map, I think we want it to be at Shelra. So you do that, you do that. I'm going to send you down here to oversee this colony. Encomienda system. Once again. Repping that encomienda system. Lawland. It's become self-sustaining. Yeah, so this this will be the extent of our empire on this flank. It's just these three provinces. Because that gives us a foothold in the English Channel, but we don't have to colonize the whole thing. Rome's almost done consolidating Italy. Um, yeah, we can afford to lose some prestige. Let's see, any other friends that we can see over here? Not as of yet. Not as of yet. Hmm. Hmm. See, Lawland could be made into a core. Oh, hey, we have an exploration mission ready. Uh, don't know what caused that to happen. Norshaland has. Rome has announced us as a new rival. Hey! Hey! Screw you guys, too! All right, um, expansion, shit, we're going to need to build another army here. Um, I think we're going to colonize Oldenburg next. Shout out to Command Delicious, who I know will be watching this and lives in Oldenburg. One, two, three, four... Union of Freya and Mikhail. We have gained not only a spouse, but also a new ally. Uh, cool. Their seat is in Lubeck to everlasting friendship and all that. Torbjörn! Hell yeah! Our heir is Torbjörn. He's going to build great things for us. Like turrets. Uh, well, we might lose that colony. It's all right. We'll start over. It's very, some very uh, rowdy Westphalians. I don't know if you guys have heard the parable of the rowdy Westphalian, but uh, the funny thing about it is that it does not exist. Yeah, let's have four generals. Why not? Okay, so we are colonizing like mofos, we almost have regimental mustering unlocked, those boats I asked for seem to be finished, okay, so you guys are the ones with the explorer, did we discover anything new over here? Not really. We're getting lots of prestige, though, for discovering shit. Explore um, the Plate Water Sea some more. All right, so this 
Didn't I build one more light ship? I thought I specifically instructed build one more light ship. Where is it? Oh, it's because these three are... Okay. So I actually need seven more light ships. I gotcha. Two, three... And way more money than I know what to do with. Okay. We can expand our frontier again. And let's see if the Finns will accept vassalization. Distance between borders, not the same religious group. Well, you know, let's get an alliance with the Finns. And a royal marriage with the Finns. And we'll proclaim a guarantee with the Finns. And, uh... Improve relations? How much of our relations improved? You guys need to remember to go back to drilling after you fight natives. Cool. Let's see, we've gained diplomatic insult CB against Rome. Hell, look at that! Hang on, let's let's make sure we clear this up first. Oshlin, that does not unlock anything new for us. Create an army for our nation, we will do it. Rome went straight for Constantinople. They jumped right over Greece's head. Smart of them. Merchant defects. Um, we're going to say mercantilism is right. Oh, the Age of Discovery is going to be ending soon. Um, oh, we can start our golden era. We'll start it like right when the age is about to end. Lubeck, excellent. So let's Oh, I guess that doesn't count as a land route to the capital, does it? So we'll have to colonize this first. Alright, okay, I see how this goes. Um, we're gonna send you to Friesland. Continue drilling. Okay, Finland. Why do you not want to be our vassal? Norse economic base. Do you have any idea how big the Norse economic base is compared to you? I feel like you. I feel like you have no idea at all. Okay, cool. So we can now get a conquistador. As soon as our next colony finishes. Uh, we'll go ahead and recruit him now. Oh, look, the Aztecs are colonizing closer to the New World. I think they're getting some funny ideas. Hamburg has become self-sustaining. Okay, so... Um... We're going to switch generals here. Whoops. We're going to switch generals here. You guys can have regular generals. Continue drilling. Okay, so let's figure out... Let's set up our army here. I'm actually going to pause the recording and set up the army off screen because I know that's boring and you guys probably don't want to watch me do it. Okay, so I'm conforming everybody to a template. Unfortunately, our explorer just died. Um, so, let's see. I'm going to combine these. Where is our exploration fleet? Okay, they're in Hamburg. So we'll recruit a new explorer, Valdemar Kane. We're going to explore. 
Plate Waters Coast again. The more of the New World we can discover, the better. And I'm conforming all of my armies to a template um, that I created. Uh, Veshland has finished. Um, and also Slesvig uh, became a core in the meantime. So we can start expanding our frontiers now. Quite a bit, actually. Now, as far as northern Germany is concerned, we don't want to go any further south than this. We pretty much, much just want the Baltic Sea. Um, all, the, all the areas that touch water, I'm not really interested in anything else. We also finished improving relations with the Finns. They still don't want to be our vassal. Um, so we're going to do a great power influence on them. Uh, we're also going to do some access actions. Cola has become self-sustaining. Don't think that opens up anything new for us. And I'm going to send a conquistador as soon as these guys are done uh, conforming to template. Excellent. Created an army for our nation. Colonize Bremen. Yeah, we are going to be doing that eventually. You know what? Um, let's not colonize over here yet. Let's, let's let them stew for a little bit. Because I was thinking we would need to do it to get our um, our golden arrow to be present on two continents. But since we, it doesn't look like we're actually going to need that, let's consolidate our power on the continent before we go overseas. Because, you know, I don't want to kill off the Aztecs too early. So we're going to colonize Griefsvold. And we're just going to make our way around the Baltic here. How are our friends doing? Rome is expanding into Sicily. Oh, Rome is fighting Greece. We have a uh, Pyrrhic war going on here. All right. So explore... West African Sea. Haven't found any new friends yet. Nope. And got our colony shit kicked. So we now have real artillery in our armies. Like real grown-ups. Okay. Friesland, Shara. Good harvest. Let's take the admin power. All right. Um, I don't know. Combat and terrain of capital. How many more months do we have? 60 months. All right. Let's start our golden age on January 1st, 1505. Boom. Golden era. Drill, drill, still waiting on you guys to fill up, come on, alright, go save the colony, barely saved it, okay, drill, I want you to explore the South Atlantic, So we can tech, which allows us to get uh, reformed Galaglaze. And we can get an additional merchant. Let's see, where could you be most useful? 
Baltic Sea. Let's uh, transfer trade power. Capitals in Lubeck. Yeah, so we want to redirect everything back to Lubeck. Oh, this is actually not doing anything. We want to collect from trade in the English Channel. Uh, Colonial Company goes bankrupt. We'll bail them out. We got the money. Looks like Rome is winning the, uh, the Pyrrhic War here. Let's see who else is... Okay, Gaul has three ideas, so they're establishing Siberian frontiers now. Britons do not... Iberia does. Iberia's coming out of nowhere. Ghana, no. Congo, no. Kill was close. Arabia is now establishing frontiers. Babylon is not yet. Persia is not yet. Indus got eaten by the Turks from the looks of it. <laughs> uh, one province tribute state that is barely even located on the uh, Indus. I'm not even sure if this branch of it is the Indus proper. I'm not sure which one of these. I mean, down here is the Indus, but I know when it, when it splits off, you know, with all these tributaries to the Himalayas, or coming from the Himalayas, I'm not sure which one's which. Turks are fighting the Mongols. It looks like China. We have a sighting of China. Um, they are fighting the Mongols, as the Chinese are often wont to do. We also have a little glimpse of someone down here. Not sure who it is. Tamil kings are still working on their ideas. The Finns have no ideas yet. The Slavs still have no ideas so far. Teutons have one. Oh, what about Carthage? Carthage is close. Rome is no longer a valid rival. We've we've eclipsed the the Romans. Um, let's see. I'm gonna offer military access to the Finns. Okay. Then we're gonna send them a gift on the 21st of September. They still don't want to be our vassals. <laughs> Well, we might have to go to war to vassalize them. I don't know. We'll leave them alone for now. Alright. Am I missing anything? Missionaries? No, it doesn't really matter. Alright, we got up the next level of army professionalism. Oh, wait, you want to be over here in Friesland. There we go. We lost a general. Which general was it? It was this guy. And we are going to continue to drill. Come on, guys. Continue to drill. All right, where is our explorer right now? Oh, he's just hanging out down here. Oh, hey, we discovered a new friend. Freya's fertile, I bet she is. Goddess of love. Hi, American Mayans. Let's see, they're at six, seven, eight. I think they're behind us technically. Well, not that far, actually. Seven, eight, nine. Five, seven, eight. Aztecs are definitely behind an admin. But uh, they, they have, here's the other thing. I gave the High American countries really powerful ideas. Like, really stupidly powerful. So. Um, we are going to get Global Empire. Which also gives us another colonist. So in terms of areas, yeah. Stolp we're eventually going to want. So we need to create a new army. A very small one at this point. Because we don't have enough for another full 14 stack. South Atlantic's been added to our maps. 
Schoon Currents. I don't even know where that is. Let's see where he's going. It's amazing that we can get there in barks, but it's probably because we're Norse. Um, yeah, we'll invest in the naval force. We're going to attempt to assuage their pain. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's that? What is that? You have not discovered Atlantis yet. I was not expecting to get here by the 1500s. In in the test game I ran, the AI did not get here until, like, late in the 1600s. Native assimilation in Friesland. Especially with as low a Diplotech as we've got. We should maybe nerf the Norse. Alright, well... That's that's the biggest surprise. There's still some other other little goodies in there. All right, so we got the Aztecs, we got the Maya. Let's see, do they have their invasion missions yet? They are set to eventually get missions to invade Europe, but with Iberia as strong as they are, I'm not sure if they will. All right, so Rome has essentially conquered most of Greece from the looks of it. As is historical. Uh, anywhere we could be setting up frontiers that I'm just not paying attention to? Not yet. Alright, so we're now improving relations with the Aztecs. Shora has become self sustaining. That does not yet allow us to do any uh, anything special. So we're going to go colonize Ermland. Oh, that's actually out of our colonial range. Okay, so we've hit the limit of our colonial range. What about uh, Shetland? So we need to get you up here. Um, I would like admin power, thank you. Alright, so you can now explore the coast of the Schoon Current. Friesland has become self-sustaining. Let's colonize the pharaohs. Yes, I would like you to transport my dudes. We can embrace an institution. Have I been paying extra for tech this whole time? Alright. Oh yeah, because it spawned in my country, but I had not embraced it yet. Um, <clears throat> let's support the Florentine school. Is Florence even a thing? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's a Roman province. I don't know why we're supporting Roman schools, but, uh, you know, why not? Gonna wait for this to spread a little bit more. See, Kainu has become self-sustaining. Let's establish a frontier right here. Okay, so that didn't actually really open anything up for us. Age of Reformation has dawned. We're going to go ahead and embrace this. Age Objectives. Own all provinces of your culture group. I guess we have to own Finland for that because the Finns are considered part of the Nordic culture group. 
So we're gonna have to vassalize the Finns. It seems like too few rivals. Hey, Rome can be our rival again. Apparently they got big enough to rejoin the big boys club. Trading in salt. We're going to assuage the pain of the natives. We're going to go up in admin tech. Enhanced reputation, why not? Tyrannical nobles. Um, we're going to chastise those landowners. You can't just go around doing that. Osterbottens become self sustaining. White Corellia has become self sustaining. Stulp has been attacked by natives. Who was supposed to be guarding that? Oh, I have five colony. Yeah, that's right. Never mind, I remember now. You guys were supposed to be guarding that. Native relative. Eh, he's a relative, I don't care. All right, so let's figure out how far we want to go in this direction. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we could stop at the Urals. Yeah, we'll probably stop at the Urals. I don't know that I really want to become a Trans-Siberian Empire. Oh, this is connected by a strait, so we could have had a frontier going there. All right. How are you guys feeling about vassalization right now? Still no? It's still a no. Nobility is mad at us, so we're going to hear their complaints. And they're going to shut up. We're also going to build... Four more transports. And can we upgrade these? No, we cannot. Let's see, we're at 879. Where is Rome right now? 779. So they're about on pace with us. Carthage get their third idea yet? No. Carthage is probably going to fail hard this game. Probably so is Egypt. Babylon, Persia, nothing yet. Aksum. One of the test games I ran, all the African states got their their uh, third idea really early, and they just wrecked shit. How about the Tamil Kings? Nobody conquers the Tamil Kings. Close. All right, Holstein has become self-sustaining, which means pretty much nothing. That does not increase the areas that we can establish frontiers in at all. All right, um, you know what? I think that's probably going to be a good place to stop for today. So we have the Ascendant Norse Empire. We have Rome is on the rise. Gaul is on the rise. Greece is not having a great day. Iberia is on the rise. We have discovered the Aztec Empire. We have discovered the Maya Empire. We have discovered Atlantis, um, who I gave their Zunist because I couldn't think of anything better. Um, and I gave him the most stupidly ridiculous idea set um, probably ever invented. So that's going to be an interesting one. Um, was not expecting to discover them this early in the game within the first hundred years. China, we got the Mongols and the Turks are kind of pushing out into the steppe. Not really much going on in the east yet. Um, although Arabia, Arabia is doing all right for themselves. Are they still tribal? Yeah, they're still a tribal federation. Sooner or later, most of these tribal societies should start reforming into proper monarchies. Check out loresworn.com. That's our website. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell thingy, all that good stuff. Um... Hope that the Aztecs don't get any, any funny ideas too soon. Um, and we will see you guys next time.